What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here at Knott's Berry Farm during the day. Usually we're here at night for Scary Farm, but today we are checking out the Behind the Fog Tour. We're here, Sammy's here, the Haze Mayor is here. We're all here and we're gonna go do the Behind the Fog Tour. This is something new for 2022. We're very excited to see what this has to offer. A behind the scenes look at some of our favorite attractions. Um, it's a three hour tour uh, and our tour guide is Jessica. She seems very nice and very sweet and she's got a background of prop making and painting. So she's gonna go into a little bit more detail than maybe some other guides do. But depending on your guide for the thing, some will go into detail, some will uh, show you other things that the other tour guide maybe didn't tell you. So every time you go on this tour, it's going to be different, but we're very much looking forward to seeing what they have to offer. We're actually heading to the entrance right now to go through security, and then we're gonna go sign in the park. We don't know what maze we're getting though. So we are hoping to get some of our favorites, maybe some farewell mazes. Maybe. Maybe, we don't know. But join us, this should be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. Let's see what they have to offer for the Behind the Fog Tour. Uh, this is where Haunt actually began. And it was originally called the first year in 1973 was Halloween Haunt. So that's where the Haunt name comes from. If you hear Haunt in some scary farm, the original name was Halloween Haunt. It started right here. Uh, it was a fun fact. It started with just pecans. So they would decorate the mannequins inside of the pecans. And then for a while they were like, you know what, this is great, people can see it, but let's start adding some actors. So they put actors in there, they dressed them up and told them to act like the mannequins. And when someone walked by, go ahead and scare them with the pecans. Well, how they did that was they unlocked the pecans, had the actor go inside, lock it behind them, and leave them in there for the night until it was time for break. Well, one day, Bob Vernon went and his his pigeon was locked. So he grabbed his manager and said, you know, I can't get in, what should I do? They are like, let me try to unlock it. Found some keys, weren't working. So they were like, you know what? Why don't you just roam around in the street a little bit? See how it goes, let's have that happen. So happy accident of getting locked out. Got to roam the streets, they realized, oh, this is great. The next day, asked all the other Pekin actors to stay on the streets instead. Streets is bored, and that's how we have our actors now on the streets. Wow. So that was really, really cool. Happy little accident, right, here at Knott's. Um, and then obviously we had our overlays of our two rides that we had. In fact, we only had two rides, which was the log ride, and then of course our mine ride that you can still go on today. That still have fun little overlays. So make sure you check out the mine ride. It actually has a fun twist of an overlay from daytime versus nighttime. There's a little twist at the end to make it a little more spooky and scary for that time. So once we had our Ghost Town Streets, we started having our monsters portray. They actually helped a lot with our lore and history that we have. So we try to honor them whenever we can because they did have a big part of this. Uh, along with that, they also helped us with sliding. Have any of you heard of sliding or seen yeah. the monsters sliding by? So that started by them getting kneecaps and gloves. And they weren't originally sliding. They were crawling on the ground to try to scare people, but they were ruining their costumes, hurting their hands, so they added the gloves and the kneecaps to kind of, you know, help them not hurt themselves. And one fine day, one of our veteran monsters was like, I'm gonna try to slide. And that's exactly what he did. So he coined the term sliding. We started having sliding from there on. We even had shows at one point at midnight in Calico Square. You used to be able to go see a slider show. Uh, they did start getting more daring and daring. And uh, with that, we wanted them all safe. So that's why we took away the shows because they got a little too daring. <laughs> And we wanted to keep everyone safe, right? Safety first. So we stopped the shows, but cat lighting was like, let's keep it to the streets. Folks really love this. So let's go ahead and just have that in our areas. And that's how our sliding began. And that was uh, early 90s is when our sliding began. Uh, give or take 92, 93. It's kind of hard to tell what year it was, but 92 or 93 was when the sliding began. So along with all of our history here in Ghost Town, like I said, we have a lot of lore with our characters, our famous character, Sarah Marshall, 
also known as the Green Witch. Right? Have you all seen her? Yeah. So we decided to tell her story. How did she become the Green Witch? How did Sarah Marshall turn into the Green Witch? Well, we decided to do that story through a maze, which is Origins. And that's actually going to be our first maze that we're going to see today. Yes. Oh. So let's head on over to Origins and, and see the origin of Sarah Marshall. So we just got out of a behind the scenes tour of Origins of the Cursed Calico. This is one that me and Sammy really wanted to go through. Sammy, this was like a lot of fun. There was like a lot of things that we never knew that, and we got confirmation that the Grimoire is in there. Like yeah. so much to take in. Like, what did you think? Yeah, it was, uh, I was really excited when we started the trek back here. Yeah. Uh, Cause we went uh, directly to the park. Yeah. And we started walking toward uh, the back of Ghost Town. And I was like, either we're getting Grimoire A+, plus, or we're going to get Origins A++, plus plus, and we yeah. got Origins, so yep. I was super excited. Yep. It was cool to be able to just take it all in and um, absorb all of the information. Yep. Um, Jessica's doing a tremendous job of... Jessica. Shout out to Jessica, yourself. by the way. Jessica's a good tour guide. If you guys get a chance to get Jessica, you guys are, gonna, you guys are in really good hands. So, no, I think it was cool. We got to see a lot of Easter eggs that we normally don't get to see walking through the maze. So now when we go through tonight at the event, we are going to definitely be checking out, looking out for those Easter eggs and whatnot. I mean, Cookbook, Ted Doherty, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a fine maze. I, I wish we could have showed you guys inside, but we're respecting the rules. We got to take a few pictures here and there. So we're very excited just to, to be able to just go see it, and we're going to give you the best detail possible. Uh, we'll show you some of the Easter eggs when we film like POVs and stuff at night, so um, stay tuned. We're going into the town hall right now. We're probably going to watch a video, and then we're going to go do, we got, I think, two more mazes after this, so stay tuned. We'll give you more reviews on that. So we just got out of town hall. We watched a long video about the history of the event, of how what it takes to put on the event. And I think the thing that I that excited me the most in that was the fact that they were talking about how much of the 50th they already have, like already in plan and ready to go. Like that gets me excited for the next year. I mean, the 50th obviously both of you and me know that's going to be a big year. So, I mean, what'd you think, man? Yeah, I really enjoyed the video. Uh, air conditioning was real nice in there. Yeah, um, it was super informative, and they had so many great. Uh, things and like um, I, I know that we think about all of the things that go into a costume and scenic design cloth, but you truly painting. don't know it's yeah like... but you just you know the, the, the amount of time it takes like they were basically saying 75% of the year is dedicated at least six weeks yeah so that is so wild yep yeah um, and, but we, we love it um, and then you know when they were talking about things like YouTube and like the internet and how it's helped evolve and shape the event that was super cool because it's like obviously we play a large part in like talking about that all year long yeah um so it's like i'm glad that nas is recognizing those types of things yeah um, for real but we're but real excited for what's coming next year we just found out we're going into dark ride we're very excited for this because this is the farewell year of dark ride and we wanted to go check this one out behind the scenes to see what it takes to to make that and uh we're very much looking forward to our tour guide jessica is doing a, a, a phenomenal job and uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm, I don't know. What I got out of that video though is there's a lot of work going into the 50th and the 50th is gonna be a massive year. So let's go see what Dark Ride has to offer. We'll give you a little review afterwards. So we just got out of Dark Ride. It was a lot of fun going behind the scenes of one of our favorites, especially it being the final year. We got to go behind the scenes, check out a lot of Easter eggs and stuff that we're going to be looking out for. A lot of some cookbook Easter eggs that we saw that we really liked. Yeah, my favorite um, uh, my favorite part of that maze is when you're going to the back where they're playing the uh, clear, clear water. Yeah. Uh, you get to see the to-do list. It looks like it's an actual to-do list. That was written by on. John Cook and stuff. And then also there was like some cool stuff like in between where like you saw plans for special ops and paranormal and like a bunch of other previous mazes so that was a lot of fun uh, we got some pictures for you guys for you guys to check out as well but we had a great time going through dark ride it was really cool to get to go through that especially knowing that it's the last year so we got to see it one last time but I really enjoyed what we had to see in dark ride next we are going actually backstage now we're not allowed to film backstage but we're gonna give you a review afterwards we're going to waxworks that's gonna be the final maze on our tour I would say for the $80 that you spend with this tour, it is worth it. You get uh, some complimentary waters, they have chips, some cookies, uh, you could, they have uh, alcohol available to buy. I actually purchased an IPA. It was a carnival themed cotton candy one, which was really good. Um, and then they hook you up with the free lanyard and at the end of the tour you get an exclusive pin just
bucks for that tour. So it's worth the $80, honestly, especially if you're a Haunt fan, if you want to know more about the history of this event, it is very much worth the money. We highly recommend it. I'm having a great time with this um, tour, and I cannot wait to do it for the 50th because the 50th is supposed to be big. What about you, brother? What are you thinking of the tour so far? Yeah, it's well worth it, $80, as Tony said. Um, it's really cool to be able to just see things with the lights on and really find those uh, nuanced details, um, like a frying, pan, or, uh, a frying basket in a room or... Um, you know, different homages to uh, older mazes, which has been super cool. Um, and the amount of history and knowledge that the guides have is unreal. Yeah. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm really, and I'm real excited to go into Waxworks uh, to complete the tour today. Yeah, so we're about to go through Waxworks. Like I said, we can't film backstage. However, we will give a review afterwards when we're said and done. So let's go check out Waxworks. And working with us since we, it's a larger group right now that we have. Uh, with just little old me today. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much. I hope it was informative. I do have your pin. This is your special badge of like, I did it! Yeah. <laughs> so I'll pass these out. And if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, just let me know while I'm passing them out. Jesse, yeah. will this become a yearly event going forward? We hope so. It makes so money. There's, there's no guarantee. It's making money. money. It's going to um, so tell your friends, tell your family members. Tell them the uh, world. Message not, let them know how much you love it so this okay. program can be brought yeah. back. Yes. I might do it again, I think it's brilliant. I think uh, so. Yes, so yes, you were do you asking. Usually do different mazes or it's always We do, so we have six oh. mazes to choose from. So we just got done with the Behind the Fog tour. We went through our final maze, Waxworks, got so many cool Easter eggs we saw, so many amazing details that we get to that we get to see with the lights on that we don't really don't get to see at night and we had a great time like i think this was by far one of the best things that knots has ever done at a haunt in general i mean we had so much fun going through everything i mean just for me and you being the fans that we are it was just so fun to go through it and they give you an exclusive pin some complimentary snacks and some and some water um, they have alcohol available for purchase. It's a three hour tour. Three hours, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was three hours. Three hours. So you got to go through uh, three different mazes and it varies on each night, but we got to go through Origins, Dark Ride, and Waxworks. Um, so much fun. I had a great time. Like, I, I, I would do definitely do this again. Yeah, I agree. It was a, a great time. Uh, Waxworks was beautiful. Um, as soon as we got in there, we got to see one of our favorite Easter eggs in that maze, yeah. which is the Devil's Den in 3D, a yeah. uh, sign that was up that uh, many people were reporting on back uh, in 2019 when uh, yeah. Waxworks was uh, still being built. That was really cool that we got to see that sign um, and really get some more details on the maze. Um, in general, which was super awesome. We highly recommend it. Like we had said previously, it's worth that $80. Um, it's still being offered this season, so go ahead and go to the Knott's Berry Farm website. Yeah. Um, get on it. Um, you're going to have a great tour guide that's going to be knowledgeable. Um, and you're going to get to just really fall in love with these mazes even more. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I mean, I don't I have so much I could say, but I, I mean, don't want to, I don't want to bore y'all. Definitely check it out. I guarantee you every tour will be different uh, depending on the tour guide you get, depending on the mazes you go in. Um, every tour guide, every tour will be different. So de definitely check it out. I really hope they bring this back next year, especially because it's the 50th year. It would make a lot of sense to bring back this next year, but we'll have to wait and see, but we loved it. We highly recommend it. We hope you guys come and check it out too. It's for every big haunt fan out there this is the tour to do so with all that being said if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video follow us on social media at the knights of horror on twitter or on instagram and at knights of horror on twitter and at the knights of horror on tiktok we're posting up a lot of tiktoks so check that out but with all that being said we'll see you guys in the fog peace